الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد so this Ramadan was definitely something different. It's a Ramadan to remember in terms of all the other Ramadans I've ever had. Because one of the biggest things missing in terms of you know, the past Ramadans that I experienced was the sense of community, the sense of uh, brotherhood, and you know, just being in the masjid, you know, continuously or consistently at least, on some sort of basis. You know, just being able to do iftar with the brothers, enjoy, you know, it, their 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 subhanallah in their presence. Allah it was just that made it all the much better. And having that guidance, being in the masjid, having the guidance to know exactly what to do, the different ibadat, being you know, just praying together, subhanAllah, this is something I don't think I, I experienced in other Ramadans, at least to this degree. So that was one of the biggest SubhanAllah. So we spent our Ramadan this year at uh, Masjid Dar Tawheed al Sunnah. And so we were able to spend it with the community there. And um, like I said, you know, subhanAllah, that, that uh, we were able to get, you know, for example, the Taraweeh, we were able to get different Imams, up to, I don't know how many, maybe more than five, maybe seven Imams, so that, you know, just to keep people in the Salah, kind of, you know, to keep it flow, flowing, it, it, was, it was enjoyable to just have more than one Imam, um, subhanAllah, like I said before, uh, that, Although it's a smaller community, it's so tightly knit. You know, everybody. It's like you know them. It's like you're going home. It's not. It's not like you're going somewhere. You know, you, you, you're out of place. You feel uncomfortable or somewhere like too out of this world in terms of like just not being uh, closer. It's very, very close. I mean, it's like I'm going home. I think that's the best way to describe that community in that masjid. Alhamdulillah. I mean, you have, we have our friends there, our brothers. Subhanallah, it's like a. Sometimes it's even more home than home. SubhanAllah, the Eid looks very, very, um, mashallah, you know, I'm, I feel bad for those who aren't here. It's looking like it's going to be very big and, you know, SubhanAllah, it's looking like we're going to have so much to do here and very enjoyable. And it's going to be something new for me because I haven't, you know, we don't, we don't see this often from our masajid. I don't know, perhaps there might be some, but SubhanAllah, I think this is going to be definitely something new for me. And I think I'm very, very happy and very excited to you know, join this, uh, these festivities Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar uh, This year subhanAllah it was I would say the best Ramadan of my life because this time I was able to pray Tarawi at Darat Tawheed I had uh, I met new brothers here uh, I have a new brotherhood now and last year it was all kind of lonely we were coming out of COVID so you know I didn't have 
I don't have many friends right there, but this year, this year was amazing. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, this is uh, an amazing Eid. The sun's out and uh, the children are happy. We got cotton candy, we got popcorn, we got everything. It's an amazing experience. Uh, yes, so all the people who are watching, uh, may Allah uh, accept your Ramadan. May Allah accept the Ramadan of your family and may Allah bless you. Spending my time, most of my time, at Dara Tawheed wa Sunnah put me in a position where I could do more ibadah, alhamdulillah, in a comfortable environment. Myself, being able to attend Wadillah and Hamd to the best of my ability, many of the Taraweeh prayers, I could, alhamdulillah, really enjoy spending time with the brothers and praying in the, saf, in the Sufuf. I would say what really stood out though was having, alhamdulillah, four, actually more than that, four plus Qur'an, reading the Qur'an throughout Taraweeh prayers throughout the month. This was something that it was unique, it was unique for me. Um, alhamdulillah, uh, it, it, it gave, subhanAllah, a different you know, feeling. Every time a new Qur'an would come up there, Alhamdulillah, you would get to experience a different recitation. And it always kept you, Alhamdulillah, focused. As well as the daily iftar. So, SubhanAllah, this was also something unique that I didn't find too many, you know, masajid doing. At Dara Tawheed wa Sunnah, every single day there was iftar. And with Allah and Hamd, I was able to play a role in that and participate, uh, alhamdulillah, and benefit as well. As well as the last 10 nights. The last 10 nights, subhanAllah. Um, this was something unique. This was something that, subhanAllah, I never experienced. Um, this specific Ramadan, these last 10 nights, after, alhamdulillah, benefiting knowledge-wise, I was able to understand uh, more about the significance of the last 10 nights from the Ustad, alhamdulillah, and our Imam, Abdul Haq. And this propelled me to do more that last 10 nights and to actually try to stay up the whole night and benefit. And most importantly, benefit from the Qiyam, the Qiyam prayers we would consistently have. Um, alhamdulillah, the recitations during that, alhamdulillah, period were amazing. One, two, three. Bismillah. <laughs> Mashallah, this time was great. Yeah, we we enjoyed, uh, you know, all the Quran recitation and all that. So it was great, and uh, Alhamdulillah, it's really, really fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, uh, I'm here since uh, November 2019 in Buffalo, brother. Alhamdulillah. So since I came here. There's a lot of improvements, Alhamdulillah. And this year, uh, we have this masjid too. Uh, you know, we have like around 40 masjids in Buffalo within 20 minutes, Alhamdulillah. Now, uh, the one emerged with the, the other masjid, Daru Tawheed, Alhamdulillah, they're doing a great job. Uh, honestly, you know, I, I was uh, doing night shift, so I was not involved with the masjid much. I came only a few days, but I, I really enjoyed it, Alhamdulillah, the, the karat and the the, the management and you know the, the way they the, the youth really around especially the youth uh, you know the youth into UB the University of Buffalo and the other universities they rallied around this masjid with Imam Abdul Haq mashallah it's really great great to see and it's it, it, and I, I really love it you know like this is what we need as a community alhamdulillah this is what we need uh, we have to keep our youth on track alhamdulillah so Imam Abdul Haq is doing a great job and I hope this will continue in coming years too. This year, Alhamdulillah, we expand uh, almost every day in our Darat Tafid Masjid. 
mashallah we get a lot of benefit from the Indian dust masjid and, uh, and also I see uh, good things I saw a lot of uh, youth was there Alhamdulillah that's a good sign you know that's a really good sign and also they are very delicate to you know work and everything alhamdulillah so yeah inshallah we'll uh, see uh, hope to see you all uh, continuously inshallah all the you inshallah so alhamdulillah we are we are uh, doing a sunnah we are doing a great sunnah a lot of people are missing it and the weather is great alhamdulillah it turned out uh, wonderful today mashallah and we both from sri lanka so special uh, Eid Mubarak Eid greetings to Muslims in Sri Lanka and all over the world, Alhamdulillah, yeah, and, and, and the people of Buffalo. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi Alhamd So, um, I came to the United States last year uh, It's technically my first ever eat away from my family So, I, at the beginning I was like really afraid, like scared how it's gonna be Because, it's, 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 is it gonna be like, diff it's gonna be a different experience, right? So, Alhamdulillah uh, the Eid was very good, mashallah, and joyful. Also, Ramadan was like I've never expected like to be be like this. I didn't expect to be engaged with like a Muslim community that's very strong, strong, and the you know the brotherhood and the friendship between everyone, and um, you know, the experience was very good. It was very. Um, yeah, similar to how it was in my home country. Yeah, I came from Libya, so yeah. So that's why my, was my concern, right? Like there are no, like a lot of masajid uh, to be, uh, to pray in Taraweeh and Qiyam al But Alhamdulillah, I found this masjid, uh, Dar al Tawheed. MashaAllah, uh, I really, really, um, it was really useful for me. You know, the Imam and the community was very strong, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah. Uh, this year I was I spent my Ramadan whole time to the Mujid uh, Dar al Tawhid al Sunnah, uh, which uh, run by uh, Sheikh Abdul Haq. Um, it's really, really great time I first been my life. Uh, la last years I spend my time, the Ramadan time I spend Salam Majid. This year Dar Tahu the Sunnah is really great. All nice gathering and the we pray Tarawi is eight Ragar Tarawi. All the brothers um, there is four ha half is the Quran and is really nice. So I invite all the brothers and sisters. Uh, the whoever getting my message uh, visit us visit this masjid is masjid is um, uh, following the quran and sunnah so please we inviting every brothers and sisters to please visit this masjid and you can check your own eyes what going on on we have a lot of classes in this masjid i've been Going to the lot of masjid, I never seen it. This kind of program to for the kids, to, for us, for the our future generation is really great.
So it Mubarak to everybody in all over in the world who ever seen it. I'm from Bangladesh, Alhamdulillah. A lot of Bangladeshi brothers is with us this year. We did the Iftar 30, 29 days. Very good management. Thank you. Thank you. Yemen. Palestine. Well, I would say, I, without a doubt, this has been the best of my life. Facts. Alhamdulillah, all these brothers over here, we got to spend Ramadan with them. The Iftar, the Taraweeh, PM Lane, everything about it was, was just great, Alhamdulillah. Um, this has been quite an experience this Ramadan, especially because getting to know the new community at the at Al Tawi. Because last Ramadan, we were like in the masjid. It's an established coming up there. But like, this one's really new. But, like, Marshall, it's been like a great experience getting to know all the brothers. And Alhamdulillah, uh, I just came into this community and it's very diverse, SubhanAllah. And it's very beneficial. They always got classes going on. Every day they're doing something educational. And that's what was my favorite part about it. And that's what I really like. I'd say I, um, I spent my, 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 most of my Ramadan in a masjid, Alhamdulillah. Um, community uh, is 10 out of 10, Alhamdulillah. One of the best communities I ever witnessed, Alhamdulillah. Very diverse group of brothers, Bengalis, Arabs, Sri Lankans, people from Trinidad, Alhamdulillah. Uh, Alhamdulillah, it's all, it's all a ni'mah from Allah. Um, this is like such a welcoming community, like all the brothers in the masjid. Very welcoming and very friendly. Like, you know, you walk into the masjid, you become one of them. So, like, you don't get left out, it doesn't matter where you come from. So, like, that has been really great. So, I, I was like fitting right into it. SubhanAllah, yeah, exactly what he said. It's just very diverse and it just felt like you could click right in. No matter, you know, it didn't feel like a Bengali masjid, it didn't feel like a Paki masjid or a Palestinian masjid or Yemeni masjid. It was just like an Islamic brotherhood. You know, it was beautiful, very. Uh, Bonding moments, you know, subhanAllah, this Ramadan compared to every other one. Uh, I'll start with, I'll send my greetings to all my family back in Palestine. Hayakum Allah, ya ahl, ya nabaliya, ya ahl Palestine, ya ahl Quds. And also to everybody, all the Muslims here in Buffalo and worldwide. Um, what he said basically, all my family back in Sri Lanka who I haven't spent a long with like in a long time. And especially like those kids in like, you know, who goes the students who goes to campus, like they cannot spend their Ramadan, like, you know, the family. So they're all alone, like, you know, they had like frozen classes and even today. It's Eid today, but like they have to go to classes, so like I would like to like wish my Eid Mubarak so. I'd like to say it to my mom and my dad. My mom is in New York City and my dad is in Yemen. So I, I didn't get to spend Eid with them this year. So I wanna send it to them. I'm not, I give him five dollar if you win, but I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just gonna phone it, man. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> yup. Those biceps popping. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. Let's go, Ali. You can do it, bro. Ali. Ali, don't give up. With Ali, two hand, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, I'm Jen. Let's go. My bicep's gonna pop out. <laughs> I don't see the bicep. Take 30 seconds rest for something. This is too unfair. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, you got it. <coughs> oh. Give up, come on. Oh. <laughs> I would not take that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Grace. Uh, okay, we're gonna do one for the kids. I'm just getting tired. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep Yes. Oh. 
Seven. Probably tore like uh, seven, seven uh, muscles. Yes, I'm a little. Assalamu alaikum. Eid Mubarak. Um, this Ramadan was different. Uh, first Ramadan, uh, I, 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 I grew in age, mashallah, so uh, Allah gave me another year, uh, turned 35 years old during, during the month of Ramadan, which was a big a big reminder, a major reminder going in into this, this blessed month. Uh, it was different because it really was a reflecting point for, for the wisdom, uh, by Allah's permission, the wisdom that I've attained uh, over the years, uh, especially as, as a revert. Um, and coming into the fold of Islam uh, with, you know, the minimum amount of knowledge and really uh, going through the challenges and, uh, of, of growing within this religion, coming from a background that's not Islamic uh, and, and really finding my way and really experiencing the true essence of, of brotherhood um, upon Tawheed and, and Sunnah, and Sunnah. Um, and this Ramadan is, is, has been different from other Ramadans because this is one of those times where I've, I've really started to sit back and, and reflect on, on this last decade that I've spent uh, in, in, as, as a Muslim and it, it's, been, it's been beautiful. Dar at Tawheed was Sunnah, this message uh, to be so new, I've never stepped foot into a, into a message, into an Islamic community that made me feel as if I was there. It was, it's almost like, uh, what's that word? Deja vu. It's almost like deja vu. You, you feel like you've been somewhere before. You feel like, even though the faces are different, um, the, the people are different, but you, the, the vibe feels like you've been there before. Uh, SubhanAllah, it's, it's something that's, you, words can't even describe it in the perfect context, but I'm doing doing my best, inshallah. Uh, I, this message, this community is so is diverse. And when I say diverse, don't even just limit that to uh, race and ethnicity. Diversity in age, diversity in, in culture, diversity in uh, just backgrounds, people coming from different places, young brothers, uh, young brothers traveling to come here, young brothers uh, making sure Everyone has arrived before we leave the message. Beautiful, just these little details, little interactions in, within the community just shows what this is all about. Uh, places where we, a place where we can study uh, for those who seek beneficial knowledge. Um, this has been uh, the, the, uh, at the core of it all for, for, uh, for those who have been able to attend and um, you know, just before we move on to the next question, I encourage all the believers in the Buffalo area, uh, Western New York area, please, uh, the, the, the believers in, on, in, in the, on the East Coast, the, the United States, if you can, please come visit Buffalo, New York, Dar al Tahid Wasuna, 2065 Kensington Avenue, Buffalo, New York. It's a beautiful place. We are small, but we are beneficial and we've been reaping the benefits uh, by, by Allah's permission. 
And, uh, you know, like I said, I encourage all those who even want to learn about Islam, please come. It's, it, it's a beautiful community. And it, 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 just as Allah intended it to be, it's, it's, for, it's for everyone. It's for all the believers. It's, it's beautiful. Eid Mubarak to all the, all the Muslims, uh, the, the, if, whether we're going east, west, north, south. Uh, Eid Mubarak back home to my home state of New Jersey, of only one state away, but you know, um, to the brothers and sisters there as well. Um, and uh, I, I do, I would definitely want to say Eid Mubarak uh, and give the salams. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all of our brothers and sisters that are incarcerated as well. Um, they are Muslims too. Alhamdulillah, very good. We enjoy the Ramadan. And also we enjoy the Eid festival. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, Astar Abi was very good. Very good. Uh, we have uh, the, uh, three Hafiz and uh, another Imam. So Alhamdulillah, we are doing very well. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, this is the best Ramadan ever for me. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. this is the exceptional Ramadan. And it's glad I enjoy my baby with me, my whole family. So all of Muslim brother here. So before we are going somewhere is only like Bangladeshi people. Now it's a lot of different culture, different people. So I am so happy here. Alhamdulillah. This Ramadan is very special. And uh, we spend a lot of good time. And everything is good, Alhamdulillah. <coughs> Alhamdulillah, I want to uh, give thank you our uh, Sheikh Abdul Hawk and his family and Ramadan is based and also our Tarabi was um, like uh, it was it was it was uh, amazing Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah and we enjoying our Eid I want to um, share uh, Eid Mubarak with my family they living in uh, Bangladesh Eid Mubarak my father, mother, and sister, brother, my all related. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Eid Mubarak, everybody in, uh, all over in the world, Muslim brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, we spent very good time in this year's Murjid Darut Tahid and Sunnah, um, which is uh, 2065 Kensington Avenue. Uh, we spent the whole Ramadan with my, my family, is really amazing time we pass these years. Uh, we have a Iftar, Tarawi, Laylatul Qiyamul Lail. Very good time we pass in my life. Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah, we are in Buffalo University, the uh, auditor, Clark Auditorium next to the Clark Auditorium. is really excellent. A lot of people is enjoyed with us. Uh, we are still here. The kids is really happy and Alhamdulillah, so Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, very, very, very good. MashaAllah, staying there this uh, 10 days, that's amazing. Exactly, Allah knows true. I'm very, very happy. I did a lot of wine and everything, but I feel very, very, very I, I can imagine. I a few day, few years. I'm uh, in the stick off, but this year it's a different nursing. Allah given a week, but I stay feeling very well. To ensure I uh, make dua too every year. Sometimes you can do the same thing and be proud too. Uh, just I'm uh, nursing. I come out and uh, my heart's crying. Alhamdulillah, uh, we are living uh, this past year, but uh, Ramadan is very nice. Alhamdulillah, this year also weather is very better. And also, we think that uh, prayer is nicely. Alhamdulillah. Overall, everything is very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Alhamdulillah. Who did that? Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. And also, Taqabbal Allah, Eid Mubarak. Real nice, real nice. I'm the children. Real nice, beautiful day. Real, real, real beautiful gathering. For the youth, I would say, uh, you know, keep praying. You know, try to keep, keep praying. 
just like we was when we was fasting, dog. Don't let it go. Don't just let uh, let the eat come and just get wild. You know, keep praying. That was good said. <laughs> Uh, I don't have a spatula. Okay. You have it over there? Huh? So I get the first piece? Yes, sir. Sure. First piece for the. Bismillah ar For the imam. You sure? Yes, you can. You can have it. I can take all of these flowers here. No, not all the flowers. I want one. <laughs> I want a light blue flower. There are many flowers to go around, inshallah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share, Joking, you can have the flower. I'm gonna share this piece from, with me and my, my, uh, my family. Aww. So, uh, See that, guys? This is, this is what we have to learn, the sunnah of being romantic to the, to the wife. <laughs> you see the scale? Yeah, you see the scale, Jibreel? <laughs> Fire. Five star. Yes. Who's next? Me? <laughs> me or my family next? Doesn't matter. You guys go ahead. Yeah, yeah just take Doesn't a knife, matter, cut it from man. the other side. You want cake? You, huh? you came only for the cake, you came for nothing else. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd